I'm going to do some uh, trials with some uh, aluminum tubing and uh, I'm going to use some brazing material. Use this brazing rod and a brazing torch. Brazing torch with some map gas and uh, well, I don't know if this is, maybe it's actually a propane torch, but I'm using it with map gas. And I'm going to try joining these tubes, and I'm going to try that, and we're going to do a strength test on this stuff. Now, mind you, I am no expert at this at all. I definitely don't claim to be. I'm just trying this out, and I'm going to see how it goes, and we'll learn together how it goes. Okay, so we're ready to try joining these two pieces here. We're going to use this brazing rod. Just real quick here on this setup, I've got this all clamped here. I squared it up as best I could. Uh, these two pieces have been cleaned as well as I could with the uh, sandpaper and I beveled the edge of the piece that's running into this horizontal piece. So there's a little space for that, uh, uh, for the rod to uh, flow into there. I'm going to try to hit all four sides Okay, so looks like it worked pretty good. We got some good flow of uh, material into the joints there, so I made sure to not have the flame on the uh, rod when I was touching it to the material, so to make sure the material itself was heating the rod and not the flame. So we'll let this thing cool down, and uh, we'll take it apart from the fixture here, and I'll probably do another sample just like it to have a second example to try. And so we're going to go ahead and do another one. So we got another one. I decided to do one more sample. Uh, that last piece I did looked a little bit out of square, so I made sure that this one's nice and square, so I'm gonna do one more. Besides, I'm getting better at this as I go. So we got a third sample or a second sample if that second one uh, turns out to be unusable. And I think this one's the best looking one of them all so far. So I guess I am getting a little better at it. I made some wooden joint samples to go along with the aluminum joint samples so that I could compare them. These wooden samples were made from 2x4s that I had cut down to the same size as the aluminum tubing and joined the pieces using glued half lap joints. So now I'm going to show you the star, what I consider the star of this video. So that is my joint strain tester that I built here. This thing is made of all wood and uh, I just gave it a nice paint job so it looks kind of fancy. I don't know why I did that. I just decided to make it look cute. But anyway, what we've got here is a, there's a base that everything, everything is sitting on this base. There's a I-beam that is, like I said, made of wood. And the I-beam has a pivot down here that it can, the whole, the whole I-beam is pivoting like that. So what happens is the, the sample that we're going to put on here to test, it goes in between these blocks that have these little posts on them. And the 
so that's the vertical part of the sample goes in here. And then the horizontal part where the joint's at is going to rest on top of this, uh, top of the I-beam. And I'm going to clamp it down with this little clamp here. Okay. Next, we have this carriage here. Okay. This carriage is going to get some weight in it. And the weight is going to apply a load to the joint. Now we're going to move the carriage along the length of the along the length of the I beam, and uh, you can see this window is going to show you where we're at on the beam. Now, in order to move the carriage so that we don't uh, move it too quickly, what I did is you can see on the back here there is a guide that goes inside of a slot inside the carriage here. And that guide is going to move, it's got a nut inside of it, and the nut is riding on this threaded rod. So when I turn, so this threaded rod is supported by these bushings here. So when I turn the threaded rod with this crank here, I can move the carriage very slowly along the I-beam. And what that does is it slowly moves the weight that is on the on the I-beam, which is applying the force to the joint, it moves it very slowly and then we can watch as the load goes up and applies more and more force to the joint to see where it's going to break. So enough show and tell. Let's put this thing to work and see if it works. All right, so I've got the first sample uh, loaded into the testing fixture. So this is the wooden one that's made, it's just made of a two by four that I cut down to one inch square and it's just got a half lap joint on it. So we're going to see how that uh, holds up. Um, I wish I had made this piece a little bit longer, but I think we'll, we'll be okay. So I've got the carriage in the start position. This is as close as it can come since the piece hangs out this far. I'm going to put some weight on there. I've got 10 pounds of these dun dumbbell weights that I'm going to stick in here gently. And by the way, you can see how the beam now is suspended by the sample so that the whole beam is being held up on that one end by the sample. Let's see what happens when I stick this weight in here. So far so good. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's start. Everything looks good so far, so keep going. Oh, there it goes. Not sure what happened there, but let's keep going. Okay, I think we're still okay. So I'm gonna, okay, so it looks like it made it. I think it just kind of budged a little bit, but I'm gonna take the load off of here and we're gonna put, yeah, I think it's still okay. I'm gonna move that carriage all the way back and we're gonna put some more weight on it and see what happens. We've seen that this little wooden joint has been holding up pretty good. So what I'm going to do is go to the highest weight that I've got that I can put in here. And that's my 40 pound tractor weight. And uh, we'll see if it can hold up to this. So here we go. It's holding for now. Okay. Let's see what happens. Ready? The beam is about to touch. I think I hear something cracking. It's holding up pretty good. I think this is going to touch. So we're going to have to stop. The, uh, it looks like the sample leaned over a little bit and then it got to be where this beam is touching here. So we're not going to be able to test it beyond that point, but we got pretty far. So we might try another sample, see if we can hold it back a little bit better. All right, I've got a second sample of the wood joint mounted in there. So I'm going right to the 40 pounds since we know it took that much at least to the other one could take that much, so let's see how this goes. Okay. Ooh, that's really. There we go. Let's 
it's drooping down a little bit, but yeah. So, mm, here we go. Let's try that. All right. That's about it. Okay. Well, pretty strong joint. That's all I can say. So, all right. I don't think I need to try that third sample. I think I got the idea by now. Let's switch to the aluminum ones and see how those do. Okay, here we are with the first aluminum sample. So we're going to try that one. I'm going to go right to the 40 pound weight with this one since it's aluminum. I think it should be strong. We'll try it. Okay, holds up a little bit so far. Yep, so far so good. Let's go ahead and load it up. Oh, there it goes. All right, well, it broke right through the uh, joint. So, went uh, a little ways. Okay, we got sample number two loaded, and I'm going to put the weight on that one. <laughs> well, apparently something was wrong with that one because it was really weak. Okay, didn't get too far with that one. I've got uh, sample number three is mounted, and we're going to put our weight on it. Another loser. <laughs> hmm. Wow. These aren't doing so hot. Well, shoot. I went back and looked at these aluminum samples and I tried to figure out why the first one did well or reasonably well and then the other two did really poorly. I looked at what happened and this one, the first one, uh, it looks really like it's everything's still got the original geometry where if you look at the second and third samples, there's a lot of warping that happened in the material. Probably when I heated it up, uh, it just changed shape. Maybe the way I applied the heat, it was a little bit too much in one area. And the way these fit together, they just really have no room for error on the fit. And the, the material, the, the brazing material, just has to have just enough room to get in there with not, not too much. And that happened in the second and the third samples. There's warping of the material. So, uh, so this stuff is, uh, you know, maybe somebody out there knows how to do it better than I do. I'm sure they do. And uh, maybe that's all the, that makes all the difference. So, but for me, this stuff is uh, a, a skill that is beyond me if, if it is possible to do better than, than this. The, uh, the lowly wood joint made out of a cheap 2 by 4 material held up really well and I'm uh, very pleased with that. So that's a good uh, test of that, uh, that kind of joint. And of course, like I said, I think the star of this video is really my joint tester, which uh, was good for, very helpful in finding out how good these joints are. So, well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm Mike and I've been thinking.